Cups, what's brewing? Please excuse the lighting, it's very dark at the moment, it's 9.25 at night. I do have my light on, but it means it's a bit full on here. Uh, I may also get interrupted while doing this re react because my sister is due any second with the little one, she'll have to put her to bed, in which case we may change location or I may finish this tomorrow. If that happens, apologies, life, it happens. Uh, so, Chantal just uploaded, uh, well, didn't upload, oh, remember uploads, remember videos, she just live streamed, she said it was going to be half an hour, it ended up being an hour and a half, so we're going to have to cut this down as much as I can. Uh, I actually very, very rarely am able to get into her live streams right at the very beginning, but I happened to click onto YouTube as she logged on, and I was like, ooh, and my goodness, what a live stream it was, <laughs> so... This is going to take a while, I'll cut it down as much as I can. Let's get started. Yeah. Dreamed of all the different ways I had to make her see. Grab your cat like that, that looks really uncomfortable. I just washed my eyes with makeup remover, but they're still everywhere I can see. Yeah, they are oh, encrusted. I'm so tired. I have I'm the so Garnier tired. I missed mic. you guys last oh, night. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, I'm so tired. Okay, let me take my meds. <sighs> Pharaoh's wife. Okay. I don't like them joking about him. Uh, give me a minute. I just want. I should so. say she did title this "I Have a Boyfriend," so I can see. <laughs> Can't tell you how much I love the nose blows. It's getting more and more frequent. She did title this, I have a boyfriend, which is mm, a thing in and of itself, considering her, her encounter with this guy and my feelings on it. But um, I, you hope to God it's clickbait, you know, but she's, she's half convinced herself, kind of. Like, the more she talks, the more she starts coming around to it. I have a story time. <laughs> mm. I have a fucking story time. Okay. So, anyways, um, as you see, can see from the title, it's kind of clickbait, but it's like... I was I expecting know. her boyfriend to be shy. You guys are going to think I'm like so crazy. Um, crazy sick, isn't I'm exactly just, I just the word. Up, like, just now. <laughs> and I have to hurry up. So I'm like in a big fucking rush right now. So I just wanted the to live stream was an hour, half an hour, something like that. Um, so yesterday when I let you guys go, I talked to Dom mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, he's very, very persistent. And I was just like, you know, like I we felt know. like I went over last night. I spent the night with him last night and oh my God, what a night. Like, <laughs> so, so this is like the second meeting with. She went back to him after she came back and she was in so much pain and she was like, no, I'm, I'm going to avoid him for a week. Uh, she has now gone back and spent time with him. Now, as soon as Nick blew her off, because remember, she was waiting for Nick, who she definitely would have gone and seen uh, after exposing herself to this guy. Uh, he ended up not meeting her and immediately after she was... Uh, saying, oh, I'm going to pack a bag and go to this Egyptian guy. And so this feels very much like, no, I'm, I'm going to go and do it because, look, I've got other people. Her feelings are weirdly hurt over Nick because her feelings were weirdly engaged over Nick. And um, this, is, this is what we end up with. But, oh my God, the lack of sense. Him. <clears throat> and um, so he lives alone. He has a place and he renovated, like, a bedroom in his place. I was going to rent it out because he lives by himself. So he was going to rent it out to this, apparently this woman <coughs> um, who he slept with twice, <laughs> apparently. They're not boyfriend, girlfriend, nothing. And this was like before he met me. Um, How soon before he met you? Allow me to ask. Because it seems a pretty active point in his life right now. And... Would that not also be of consent? She goes on into it. We'll give her a sec because... And apparently she, like, fell for him or really liked him. I don't know what happened. Um, 
So I get there and I walk in the kitchen and there's this fucking woman sitting there. There's this like woman walk on out there. again, honey. Walk on out with a beer, and I'm just like, and she was like on the phone and she was like, they were, she was like yelling at him, and I'm just like, hi, I'm Chantel. You know me, I'm all friendly, and um, because I didn't care, like who is this, you know? And he's and she's like, no, I'm leaving. I'm calling a fucking fuck you. You're a player, blah, 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 blah. Well, yeah, clearly. So I'm like wondering, like, what, how, after only two times, she's that mad and jealous, like. This coming from the woman that after 10, 15 minutes of groping in a car was ready for a wedding. Like, you know what it's like to get attached quickly. This guy does not seem like the guy to get attached to, but you know it. Anyway. So she's like, and I'm like, I'll leave. I don't mind leaving because I secretly Just wanted run. to leave because I was like, this is awkward and yeah. <clears throat> I want to go to bed. <laughs> and then he's like, um, he's like, no, 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 no don't leave us. He's like, I don't know why she's acting like this. I'm not, she's not my girlfriend. Um, mm. he's like, we're not boyfriend, girlfriend. What's the problem? You're renting my room. She's like, I don't care. She's like, I'm not staying here while you have sex with her all night and blah, blah, blah. This is a weird conversation she's in. Uh, again, I don't get the phone thing. Clearly they're not on the phone, they're having this as a conversation. So the, I stay very isolated and I'm just hanging out with him is out. Because now there's this other woman, in the literal and figurative sense, who has been sleeping with him in a recent time. So clearly that's a risk. But, but no, no, keep on with your story. So I'm just like, what? I'm like, we're not going to have sex. Like, I'm just coming here to hang out. Because, it, what's funny, I say I have a boyfriend. Here's the, the the clickbait. Because this guy is like, I met him on like a hookup site, right? Yes. Um, My cat's missed me. So. <clears throat> no, he seems like he wants to be near Sounds like a Jerry Springer show. What was I getting at? Oh, no, yeah. So, like, I messaged him. I She's so excited to be in the middle of this drama. She's so excited. I said... Okay, because he wanted, he's like, I'm like, I'll come over if you promise. He's like, promise what? I'm like, that you won't touch me. I'm like, you mm. know, be, being honest. He's like, be honest. Like, was that just like too rough for you? Or like, what's the deal? He's like, you have to tell me. Like, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> you said you told him and that he changed his behavior. So to say now, well, why didn't you tell me? Well, you claim you did tell him. And then he was all lovey-dovey and sensual with you. Is that what you said? I feel like that's what you said. So why is this now a conversation you're having that's surprising him? Something there doesn't add up at all. Like, that, do that doesn't make sense. And how convenient that you had huge backlash from your audience. And now, no, no, I've had this conversation with him and he's absolutely fine. How convenient. Like, guys... I'm like, it didn't hurt at the time, but after, you know, and he's like, okay, because, like, apparently he, his ex showed him all kinds of crazy things, and he showed me a picture of, like, her, she liked that. She's like, smack my boobs around in a cell. Why would he, like, showed you a picture of her what? Why would he need visual proof of something to have that discussion with you? What, did he show you a picture of her boobs? Because... <laughs> There's nothing else that's relevant to that conversation. You don't need to know what she looks like to know what she told him. So either he's sharing a private photo with you, which I'm not down for, or this this did not happen this way. He didn't show you anything. You know, like, and how convenient that, no, 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 it didn't come from him. It didn't come from him. It was something, someone, this woman you've never, never met and have no idea if you indeed got shown a photo. How can we, I, I've got this photo of her. See, no, 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 this was my girlfriend. She told me this. Uh, I wasn't, wasn't me. Okay, we'll just absolve you of all responsibility then. Great, great. Keep going. Like, apparently he thought that was like a turn on for women. Anyway, um, so none of that happened. He does seem um, super innocent like... and like he doesn't know these things. He's like, um... I'm not spreading Rona. He's like the only person I'm going to see like the whole time. You're allowed to have a boyfriend. Him and the girl he's been sleeping with and exchanging fluids with. <laughs> oh, God. I enjoyed fucking coronavirus. And also, you were up for seeing Nick. So don't stand there like you were being that responsible with, with the Rona because 
had Nick turned up, you would have been there. Your face was made up. You were sitting there in your pajamas going, oh no, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm really up for staying indoors. And then you were hit hard when he did eventually cancel. Like, you were ready to go. You were just going to throw on a new outfit. Anyway, so, um, he's like, well, where was I? There's just so much that happened that I don't even know. Oh, yeah. So he's like, trying to keep well, track of story. that we'll just cuddle <laughs> and kiss. <laughs> so I'm like trying to like turn this like kinky person into a boyfriend material is what I feel like I'm Why? doing. Because like, he messaged me today and he's like, <clears throat> Like, on his way to work, he called me. I don't like when people call me, like... I don't like being chased, but this really skeevy guy that I did coke with, um, I'll, I'll let him chase me a little bit. Like, come on. Just text me, you know? Like, I don't like phone calls. Oh, he's like a... this was another point. God, this is going to be forever. The whole phone call thing, like, so he doesn't want proof of what he's actually saying to you in writing? Interesting, not a red flag at all phone call kind of person like old school he doesn't even have a tv like i can't i don't like his place like it's so like man like just working man no warm female touch like mm. i'm gonna bring my uh tv there anyway so i i wouldn't do that also do we know if this is his main residence and he says he's well, no he said it was that it's probably his place but, you know, he, he doesn't have a TV. Not everyone does with the age of the internet. Some people just don't use the regular TV. They use online instead. But, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to take my TV there. No problem. I... No, I'm not moving out. I'm not moving in with him. I love coming. I love spending time there, but I love coming back here. I don't like sleeping there. So I told her. Well, she does need her CPAP, which she has not yet taken to his, which given that they've had all of two, two meetings, it's not a surprise. But that's also quite dangerous. She does need to wear her CPAP. And the more she stays there, the less she's doing that. So, you know, way, way to take care of yourself. But on the list of things she's not taking care of right now, I suppose that's quite low, however dangerous it might be. No, no, no. I didn't have my machine, but like his bed's comfortable and he, he has a lot of pillows. So I was able to like kind of just prop myself up and sleep a little bit. Mm. Hi, Jinx. I, I wouldn't but not trust for that. long. I came home early morning. Um, anyway, he, I've been at the place. He lives alone, so I just like. Anyway, so I... except for the woman that was going to move into his other room, that I'm guessing he'll now be renting to somebody else. I just like. Um, he's like, yeah, that's okay. He's like, that's fine. Come over. We'll just do that. So today he messages me. I'm gonna. This is gonna be. This is gonna freak some of you guys out. And she's so excited to tell us. It, it's. <laughs> oh my god. So he's like, "Hey, do you want to come over tonight and go to an orgy?" Like apparently he knows these people. He has a friend that he works with who's from like Cameroon and has like. He, he has like a thirteen-inch appendage. He showed me a picture of it, and I was like... Showed me a picture of it. Okay, okay, okay. We've got a few things to unpack there. Number one, you've just told him, you've just told him, you don't want sex, you're not, it was, it was too rough, you had an open and honest conversation about it, it was too rough, you don't want sex, you just want to cuddle, maybe kiss, you want to watch TV, that's it. He has countered that offer with an orgy. And just side it, an orgy during the pandemic. Yep, yep, no, safe, great. With a guy whose dick pics he apparently has, a friend, a friend <laughs> from, from work, who apparently he's close enough with that they're exchanging dick pics. I say exchanging, I don't know if he sent one. You know, like he showed you a picture of a 13. How are you going to match that to its owner? And and why, why, why would he have it? Why? Would he have it? There are so many questions, so many dangers. And I want to talk in a little bit about sort of erosion of boundaries and how she's so easy to manipulate. She's so she's in a position that's so easy to manipulate. The fact that she's laughing about this because she's so proud of her crazy wild love escapades, love escapades, that she just doesn't see so clearly through this. 
Why? So him and his girlfriend apparently are like swingers. I don't know. And they, I don't know. They wanted to come over and have some fun. He thought that I would like that because I told him like of a fantasy of mine and he thought that I would like that. And so I said, okay, I said, how about this? This is where it's funny. I'm like, how about this? How about I come over with some good food? I'll bring my flat screen TV. We'll watch movies and we'll cuddle. If he's starting with orgy, that's not really an awesome counter offer. I will say if he was serious about it. Seems to me like, again, erosion of boundaries. He's seeing how far he can push you. And then when he's kind of got an idea of where you are, how he can manipulate you past those things. But we will go into that in a moment. But what a counter offer, eh? And also, apparently this dude is a head sh- Apparently, again, we'll go into it. Uh, like, what good food are you going to bring him? If one thing we know about our foodie beauty is a foodie she ain't. And immediately, he called me and he's like, I like that. I mean, he's like, I would, did. I would have done this for you. I thought that you would have wanted this. So I was just like, yeah. mm. And like, all night he kept saying like, I'm starting to really, I, I really like you, and I don't know. He's like, I don't kiss girls normally. Like, we, like, make out, like, all night. Like, just making out. It's so nice. Um, we make out all night as if it's a habitual thing <laughs> in in this, their second meeting. <clears throat> Even with no sex, like... When you know, did you thought... have no sex? I mean, I suppose she's saying last night they didn't, but... You don't have a huge frame of reference and experience with this guy, so maybe maybe let's let's change the language slightly. I just wanted to come over for sex. He's a little. Well, I thought you wanted. I thought you wanted that, and I was like, no, I wanted you, to just. You did over. advertise that. I was like, why am I doing this? Like, why do I want to like boyfriend somebody? Like, I just. I feel like I just. Want... You you don't want to. Um, like, not this guy. This guy is not the guy, and I think any of us, with however little information we've got, could tell you that. But here's the thing and that that response oh i was i was doing this for you i thought you would like it like if they discussed fantasies then fair enough you know be open with your sexual partner to to a degree (laughs) there is an element of trust there which i think they haven't established or rather she's establishing with him that i don't feel he's earned in any way But, you know, you're having sex, being able to talk about what you want sexually is important. But here's the thing. With him being so attentive and with him then turning around saying, oh, no, I was doing this for you. Like, literally, want to go to an orgy? No, I don't want to do that. Oh, me neither. I, um, I thought you, I I don't do that. No, I, not for me. I thought you'd like it and conveniently I have a couple that do those things that, that, you know, I'm close enough to that they've told me that and shared dick pics with so I can vet potential candidates for this. Um, um, No, I I know. It's not something I'm I'm just doing it for you. I was doing it for you. But, But that's a bit suspect. That's a bit suspect. Like affection and attention and... I like the, like, you know that, like, where you get ready. I, I like, kind of want to, like, like, he needs to eat. He's so skinny. Oh, my God. He's lost, like, he's, he's lost, like, a whole bunch of weight. Yeah. Um, is that, is it, am I going crazy or is that maybe a sign of drug use? That That is sometimes, sometimes, I'm just saying, generally speaking, can be interpreted as a sign of drug use. Also, the not sleeping and uh, she, later she goes on to say he wasn't sleeping again. I'm like, huh, oh, again? Red flag. Red flag. He's really, he's not like super, super skinny. Yep. But he used to be a pretty like muscular guy. You could see in his body where so he, he has like an eight pack. He's but becoming he's more so, emaciated. And, um, <clears throat> I'm going to be careful. I'm not rushing into uh, anything. You, I, neither yeah, of those things is true. Like, I'm being like super Stupid. Like, girlfriendy or whatever. You're trying. Like, to you know be. what? Who cares? Like, why can't I have like this boyfriend? He's not a boyfriend, and he would be terrible boyfriend material. 
The fact that he's playing along with this should be more concerning than anything, because what's his end game here? And just come home after. Like, I don't want it to be like, we didn't do coke. This time. He's like, I never do that. I never. What bullshit? You're listening to this from him? What bullshit? That was like the only, like, he doesn't do it regularly, so we didn't do that. Like, it says him. You know, he's like, I don't even like that. He's like, my nose is all fucked up still from it. What a convenient thing to tell you. What a convenient thing to tell you. So you went a little bit far. You have reservations about doing it again. So he's being very accommodating here. And despite the fact that he's super efficient, super clean, he seems to be losing weight and he's not sleeping at all. Uh, but he, no, he doesn't do drugs regularly. There's, there's absolutely no reason to think so based on our interactions. And the fact they had five lines of Coke ready and waiting for you. Like, no, it's, it's not something I, I do regularly. So I'm just like, yeah, it's garbage. Let's just... I think I just like that. Like, it's going to be nice. I'm going to go over there. Um, we can watch movies and cuddle, you know? With everything he's been offering you... I don't care you. if he's really seeing others. Do you I mean, think he's going to be satisfied with and that? Stuff like that. He says... He, I think he's... I don't know. I feel like he's honest. He, he was honest about sleeping with them. No. No. Woman <clears throat> with protection. Trust me, I fucking asked him out the yin yang. Why would he tell you the um, truth? Like I said, he has a drawer of condoms, so. Uh, so a guarantee he uses them. I mean, having them is a good thing. It's a good thing. And if he was smart, he would use them, especially if he's sleeping around as much as he is. Like, yes, you know, you're not. That's the thing with unprotected sex, you know, you're not, it's that whole, it's that old story of you're not sleeping with them, you're sleeping with everyone they've ever slept with if you have unprotected sex. But I just, does this guy seem like a reliable source of truth? I, I, I would not be taking his word for much at this point. Intimacy, like I just want to, I just love, I just love, yeah, watch a movie and cuddle, I just like making out. <laughs> That's intimacy. That's what you get from being in a... Like, if you, you want to hook up without the hookup, then you want a relationship. You want a relationship, which will also have an element of sex in it. But you you want the intimacy. You, you just... That's not what you're getting. <laughs> and the fact that he's willing to fake it for a while makes me wonder where he's leading you. I don't... <laughs> he's not a boyfriend boyfriend. This is like... He's not any boyfriend. Um... <laughs> a boyfriend boyfriend. <laughs> I swear to fucking God. I swear to fucking God, it's her new farting blowing her nose. Um, she... It's not, oh, he's not a boyfriend boyfriend, he's just a casual boyfriend. You see how his position has changed in her mind? All the description of his behaviour, all the pain she was in, like, oh, I don't know, now that, you know, he's sort of her only possibility at this point, She's so desperate for anything she can get. She's willing to sweep everything else under the rug. And anyone with an ounce of sense would be questioning several parts of this. You know what else? I think after just being like, felt like a piece of meat on my Tinder and <clears throat> everywhere else. It just feels nice to have somebody who what, truly cares for likes you. your company and just wants to tell us the fantasy. I feel like she was going to say wants to, to cuddle with her, but he doesn't want to. He wants you to come over for sex, drugs, and an orgy. You're suggesting the other stuff. Oh, it was just a boring one, like, like a, you know, gang, like, couple guys on, you know, whatever. He's like, I can arrange that. He's like, I know, like, five guys that would do it. Of course That's you concerning. do. So tell me, what happens if you show up to his apartment one day and those five guys are there? What happens then? What what do you walk into that you have no control over? Right? I I oh my god. There's so many terrible things that could happen that she's just refusing to acknowledge, to think about. Like what happens if she turns up and they're there and he goes, Well you wanted this. No, sweetheart, you, you wanted this. Come on, let's let's do something wild. 
And that's what I mean by manipulation, and that's the erosion of boundaries I was talking about. You ask her right now, let's do an orgy, she goes, no, that's not what I want. Because that's, that's her responding. But then you, you, you soothe her a little bit and you go along with what she wants and you say, okay, no, let's cuddle. I, no, I, I really, I'm really beginning to, tell me about yourself. I'm really beginning to like you. I think maybe this could be a little bit more. And she, being the incredibly easy to manipulate person she is, goes, oh yeah, okay, okay. Um, and, and then it's like, no, he's a, he's a wonderful guy. I, I told him my boundaries and he kept to them. And then next time, instead of going full, okay, orgy, full five guys, he offers something that's maybe just a tiny bit out of her comfort zone and then kind of convinces her to go there. And then every time he pushes her a little bit further and a little bit further. And then suddenly you're in a situation that you would never have agreed to, that you've kind of incrementally arrived at without even really realizing. It's that old story of the frog in the pan of the boiling water. If you put a frog into boiling water, it jumps out. But if you put a frog in a pan and you heat the water up until it's boiling, it boils to death because it doesn't notice the water's getting hotter. Like there's, that's what this feels like. Do not trust this version of himself he's giving you because he'll push, 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 push. And you don't seem to have the strength mentally, physically, emotionally, to be able to go, nah, hard no, we done. Because you're so desperate for any scrap of attention, affection, even the illusion of it, that you will place yourself in massive danger to receive it. <laughs> no, I thought that's what I wanted, but then I can't even handle one all night. Can I, he's, he's crazy, he's so, like, he doesn't sleep, he didn't sleep again. Like, cause he's drugged. <clears throat> we just stayed in the room the whole time. Again, nude. Again. Well, Again. I, had, I had a nice lingerie. So, like... nude lingerie. So this was the sex you weren't going to have. So, okay, maybe you didn't have full-on intercourse. I, I don't know if she's leading to that. I can't remember off the top of my head because some things happened towards the end of the live. But, <laughs> uh, but so you were going over and just, just having a night and then now you're naked in his room or nearly naked in his room? How, how, did, how did that happen? Like, you see what I mean by just push, push, push? We'll see tomorrow, whenever she comes back, what she actually ended up doing with him. If he did hold back because you, you build the trust, you'd be like, no, I wouldn't do that to you. No, 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 whatever you're comfortable with. And then you pull the rug out from under him. I like your lingerie. And he's like, I don't kiss. I, I, I don't know. We talked a lot. Like, you know, like at the beginning when you're just like talking and getting to know each other. And... I see him a lot different than the first night, that's for sure. He's not the same. This is the He's second the night. He didn't He's do any... He's completely different. He didn't do any coke at all. Well, he wouldn't, would he? He's already, from the sounds of it, if he didn't sleep, he clearly took something. But he didn't do anything in front of you because he's now got to re-establish comfort. You talked all night. Tell me, how much did you ask about him? Because she's not great at keeping information to herself, so she'd share something with us. Or did he just ask a lot of questions about you when you were just a bit too self-involved to notice you weren't talking much about him? Were you just flattered by the attention that he wanted to know everything about you? And now he's got a lot of information about you that just makes you easier to manipulate. Think about this. He didn't, we didn't do any coke, okay? I promise. <laughs> we're at a 50% ratio don't worry i promise guys i did not we did not do any drugs at all nothing congratulations i'm not leaving you <laughs> so we did some crazy things though but like things that mm. i wouldn't do with anybody i feel so comfortable things i wouldn't do with anybody that somehow i find myself doing with him is that ringing alarm bells for anyone? Because I, I got a pretty big siren going off in my head right now. I feel so comfortable with him. Like, he doesn't mind my body. He's like, he knows too. He's like, you're, you're self-conscious of your body, aren't you? Because when I asked you for pictures, oh, I was like, don't send him like, news. Pictures. So pictures like the pictures he's been showing you of other people? 
And is she sure? Someone made a comment on my last video and I was like, oh man, I hadn't even thought of that. Is she sure he's not recording anything? Uh, apparently you can get, I was talking to my friend, I have a friend in America who we talk on Marco about this because she watches my reacts. She's like, what? <laughs> um, but her husband bought her a little uh, tech thing that lets you check if you go to an Airbnb, for example, lets you check if there's any devices in the room that might maybe should not be there. And that seems like a very useful piece of equipment for her right now, because man, and I'm just like, well, yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. Unsubbed. What the fuck did I do? Ugh. It's so funny. You were so ridiculous. I haven't done anything. Look how unreasonable these haters are. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> oh my god. No, Nick never messaged me. Hmm. This is in no way an emotional outburst. So... Directly in the opposite direction to to prove how desirable she is and how fuck Nick and you, I don't need him to have fun. It's definitely none of that running through her mind right now. <clears throat> it's because I just woke up. Like, literally, I washed my face as best as I could. There's no as best as you could. You can just wash your face, which she hasn't done very well. Uh, small side note, if she's wearing eyeliner and a lot of mascara, because I tend to do the same, I have a micellar water that has uh, oil infused in it. And or you can just get an oil-based cleanser, put it on a, a cotton pad and just tap your eyes and then leave it for a second because it will help to break it down. And then when you go in with the cloth, it will come off a lot more easily without the scrubbing that tends to hurt your eyes. She could try that. She's, I mean, not the point of the video, but there we go. <laughs> the light moment for you. <laughs> and every morning when I, every time I wake up, I, I don't know if it's my asthma, but this is like, even before Corona, like seriously. Just shut up with that, please. <laughs> I'm just fucking and sharing various bodily fluids with someone who clearly is not too careful about what he does with his. What I'm, I'm just, you know, with someone who apparently goes to orgies. Like, what are you, what are you so worried about? I'm so fucking sick of your completely reasonable pandemic concerns. What was I gonna say? Get past it, get past it. She gets so angry with her chat because- I'm, I'm tired. She, um, What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. She was expecting a lot more support and that will come out, that's at the end. That's that's a fun time. Uh, but she was expecting a lot more support from chat than she got. Like there was a few of her ride and dies who were just like, no, you don't and keeping the super chats going, but a lot of people had a lot of things to say about it. Yeah, I usually call for like, I have like a fluffy throat. Courage, he is dominant, he's into BDSM. I hope you care for yourself like you would your boyfriend. Take care. Yeah, of course. But that's what I thought you guys would find funny because I'm just like... Thing is, you talk about him being into that stuff. From what I understand, if he was actually a dom within that community, and I understand very little about that community, but the certain safe consensual things you do as a dom in that community so he he doesn't if he were he doesn't seem like a responsible one like there's there's safety there's aftercare there's a lot of stuff involved in it from what from the small part i understand and none of what she describes sounds like it the problem is chantal much like myself doesn't have a lot of information about that so you get really fucked up representations of that that community like Fifty Shades of Grey, for example, being the big one that a lot of people are familiar with, that don't fully represent it, and then people go out thinking certain behaviours are okay when they're not. It, it kind of idolises things that are really problematic. I'm taking like this like kinky person and just like boyfriending them <clears throat> to mm. suit my needs. Like, or he's playing you. Hey, instead of a gangbang, why don't we watch Netflix and eat? Okay, no problem, sweetheart. Yeah, no, we can do that. And next time, okay, what about, what about not a gangman, but you know, you're so sexy, I maybe want to, I want to share you with somebody. Or let's just start with the pictures that I'll then have control of forever. You know, like, it's for your confidence. I want you to understand how sexy I find you. And you just get pushed a little bit more and pushed a little bit more. And okay, not an orgy, but you know, you, you've been doing so well and we're doing, and it's so, think, think how fun it would be. And she wants stories to tell her audience as well. So, you know, her wild life, she loves the idea of it. She will not love the reality of it. 
um, you know, okay, not an orgy, maybe a threesome, maybe, and get pushed a little bit further. And there's some very clear indicators here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to like, I don't know. He's going to be too tired to cook or whatever. He's like, women who... who too tired? Are, uh, you know, bigger women, women I've been with always lose weight with me because... Of the coke? The, like, sex all night and... Uh, the coke? I cook real food. She's had access to real food before. It's never stopped her. But mm. I'm, I'm saying the drugs, probably. I mean, she would lose weight on the drugs, I'm sure, but... But I just, like, I want to feed him. Like, he looks like he needs to fucking eat. He doesn't, like, he... I don't know how he does it. But Coke. he does this a lot, apparently. We I stayed up all it. night. Like, I kept him up all night. I felt kind of bad because he looked... You did not keep him up all night. Dude's obviously burning the candle at both ends with something. Really tired this morning. He had to, like, take a bath and, like, try to wake up. And I, I never knew a guy who likes to take baths, but it happens, apparently. <laughs> He's like, take a bath with me. Take a bath with me. I'm not taking a fucking bath. I, I'm, I'm so forward, you guys would so laugh. Yeah, I'm sure she thinks she's got all the power in this relationship. I'm sure that's a very deliberate move on his part. I'm also sure the two of them would not fit in a bath together. I'm sorry, but I, yeah. He's not a skinny cokehead. He's not a cokehead, Jesus. Uh, oh my God. All evidence to the contrary. How do you know that? Like, maybe he's not. Maybe that was just an infrequent crazy night. Maybe, maybe this is just something he pulls out at parties and it just happens, so happens these days, parties are two. Maybe, but you don't know because you've met him twice. So right now he's got a 50-50 chance of actually being a cokehead. And the other things you're describing don't, don't particularly fill me with confidence, my love. Do you think I would, I would not want to be with somebody like that? Well, a bit late. At all. A bit late. What you think, what you would say no to right now changes a lot depending on what they're saying to you because you don't have a very strong sense of self and you're already doing more things than you thought you would do. You're already doing things you've never done with anyone else. Like, why, why do you think that would stop? Anyways. Anyways, she was not getting the response she wanted. She, uh... she started getting very irate. People are like overreacting big time. Like I didn't expect this reaction because I'm just having fun and he's not a cokehead. We did. She's really, she was expecting people to love this. She was expecting the actual going through with the arc to be amazing and look how wild and sexy she is. And she's finally living this weird fantasy life she built up in her head. And you should all be proud and happy and jealous of me you should be jealous of me you should be begging me for these stories she did not like the fact that a solid 80 percent of her chat was going what the hell go click once i told you we didn't do anything any i told you yeah so <laughs> one out of two nights they didn't do it so therefore it's not a cokehead like, something at a party or whatever once doesn't make you a fucking cokehead like seriously okay. that's true it doesn't that's true but you were in his apartment and he had that ready to go and a lot of his behaviours seem like he might partake in things off the scene. You know, when you're, when you're not with him, perhaps, based on his behaviour. I don't know. I guess we just like each other. Like, each know. other? Or you like him and are willing to He's... make excuses? Yeah. I mean, I guess that woman was, like, really jealous. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. That was weird for me. I thought that was so awkward and I kind of wanted to leave. I was just like... Yeah, it would have been nice for you to listen to your common sense there. Uh, maybe I should leave. Maybe you should fucking run. Maybe. Because there was clearly a reason she was angry. He's crazy. Like, he just wants to please, please, please. Like, for he now. Just, like, he knows what I like. Like, he just said, just tell me what you want. I'll give you anything and I'll please you. And then, you know, I've, I've got some things I'd like you to please me with. And okay, and look, we're so open together. I've got some other stuff I'd like you to do. No, baby, you're so sexy. You, you, you'd be amazing in this. You think she's not going to be easily convinced? Jesus Christ, this is skeevy. So I told him what I wanted, and then like, like flat out, like I just like to. He's not. He doesn't have a girlfriend. This woman is crazy. He's got something it's happening, kind of which is concerning. I can believe it's not his girlfriend, but still. Oh God. Anyway. 
so I don't even know why I get on here and talk about this stuff. People just, I don't know, you, you just like, I don't know. Anyway. This is the point she should have stopped the stream. Because she's now officially angry enough, enough at her chat that she starts letting some things fly. And it's not good to turn on your audience this way. I am just going to check because she, she's covered most of the important stuff in terms of what she thinks of going over there. But she starts to turn on chat. And there's a big thing that happens with Karate Joe. And then she starts turning on her mods. So I'm going to just skip through the next part and make sure we don't miss anything massively important that's not a repeat of what we've already talked about. And we're going to get to there. <laughs> on the TV for a coke. You guys are crazy. He's nothing like that. You don't even know him, so shut up. Oh, anyway. I'd forgot that was in there. Yeah, she told everyone to shut up. You don't know him. Because after the second night of meeting him, clearly she knows him really well. Clearly she's got a great grasp of his character and all the things he's capable of. Not a problem. <laughs> and then she tries to laugh it off because she, she, she said a bit much there. He doesn't go to sex clubs. He, do he doesn't do that. He wanted... Just orgies. He said if that's something I wanted to do, he could arrange it. That's all. And it doesn't alarm you that he's able to arrange that at the drop of a hat. All right, now we are actually going to skip forward. We actually just, like, stayed up all night and talked about, like, he asked me so many questions about, like, my ex-relationships and, you know... He was just like, what are you doing here? Like, why, like, you know, like, why do you like hanging out with me so much? Like, why me so much? And I'm just like, I don't know. I left that in because I was just skipping through and that's what I'm talking about. He's been questioning her and her ex-relationships, which if you're just there for a hookup, you're, you're not really caring about. They're only on the second night. That to me is him trying to suss her out. And I'm, I get that people have conversations about that. I understand. But this just doesn't. This doesn't feel right to me and it really makes me wonder where he's going with this and I hope she doesn't find out. I hope she doesn't find out because if if he moves forward with whatever, whatever he's planning on doing this all seems super sus. What? Joel what are you talking about? Jesus fuck like so I'm not working on my traveling what does that mean? Like because I'm hanging out with somebody I can't work on myself and tra uh, travel at the same time? What's like I don't get it. <laughs> Like, oh. So she tried to keep a smile on her face there, but that was the first uh, kind of response to Joe that you heard. And she did go in on him last live stream as well. She was like, Jesus Christ, she's been really short with Karate Joe and it all comes to a head here. So that's the first comment. Remember that Karate Joe has been her ride or die. Her ride or die for years. And this is how she's treating him. And like, frankly, as much as he is a creepy dude, he has shown more concern about this than anyone in her real life appears to have. So, the fact that she's treating him like crap over that. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to ignore uh, uh, Comments that annoy me, I'm just ignoring. Thank you. <laughs> she gets worse with her chat. Um, well, he's been getting on my nerves, Jesse. so... You know, like, it's a question that's stupid. Like, why... Um... It's not just a question, though, Travonda. He's like, you know, like, it's a question that's stupid. Like, why, why, because I saw somebody twice, I'm not going to focus on my travel, traveling and stuff like that. That's, like, stupid. So these are the other mods then stepping in to try and defend Karate Joe because she's being quite unreasonable right now. And she's like, well, it was just a, a question, you know, like, are you, are you therefore just going to focus on this guy? Because that has been the focus of her channel recently, not the self growth that she claims to be making. And she claims this is a step in, in the direction of, but just chasing boys. And yeah, she gets to chase boys, preferably not during a pandemic. But there's a lot of concerning behavior here and he's showing concern in a creepy way, but nevertheless. You know, and there's concern, and then there's like telling me what to do. How day and you know, like <laughs> sorry, but it's true. Well, he's been getting on my nerves, Jesse. So you still know. just shit talking him while he's in That's stream. It. Still, he's still in stream listening to this. Um. Well, I don't care that you've been my friend for years. Like you're getting on my nerves. Check it out. 
trying to distract desperately with anything because this conversation's not going well. She's choosing not to focus on this and try, she'll come back and be like, so anyway, trying to move it along when she knows she's out of line here. <laughs> I wish I could bring her. <laughs> anyway. Hmm? And the chat is still going, still not happy with her. She's not impressed, this was meant to be a moment of glory. So, red flags in Cold Bay. Yeah. You guys are all crazy. You know that? Nope. You are. Clearly we're the problem. Yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna like stay there. I don't know, I think like if things work out, maybe I'll like stay there some of the time. So this hookup that's now going to a third night, she's got ideas of some kind of future with. You know, I'll, I'll take some of my things over, we'll settle down, he'll he, he'll just be fine with kind of cuddles, occasional sex, things will be totally normal, and I'll be fine. Stay here some of the time. For this long-term um, relationship you're going to have. God, I'm so well, worried about what he's going to end up having her do. But... If not tonight, in the if it does carry on in the future, clearly there's going to be some degrading of limits. When is the wedding? <laughs> yeah, right. Seriously? The no, way she Laura, acts? he's not an abusive guy at all. You were asking in your previous chat, is that abuse? Is this abuse? No, it wasn't abuse. I really liked it. Oh, but it really hurts. Uh, I guess he sees me as someone to be abused was, I believe, the line she said. This is very much a change in narrative. She's very much trying to rehabilitate his image with her audience based on what she's already said and it's not working and she's not taking it well um he's not no he's not controlling that's the thing he clearly is i think you guys are going way too far a lot of you with like um everything just like cokehead and blah 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 like i know i don't think we happen are. based so on what you're telling us it and just be positive and you know She's reaching kind of ALR levels here when, when in terms of discussing, I, d I don't understand and, you know, it's all our fault and maybe she'll update us and maybe she won't because we're obviously the ones getting out of hand here. She just wanted us to love her wild story but show concern over any behaviour that might damage her. Oh, I just don't understand why you guys are being so unreasonable. Oh, oh. I'm trying to be as careful as I can. You're clearly not. Um, but at what point whatever. have you been I, careful I, I anyway? I guarantee you, all, mo a lot of you are not 100% safe all the time. Uh, like, there is a difference between not being 100% safe, which in a pandemic you can try as hard as you want, but in life in general, pandemic notwithstanding, you can try as hard as you can to be safe and you're not always 100% safe because anything can happen. But there is a difference between not 100% safe because it's impossible in life versus throwing yourself at an internet stranger, probably, probably sharing drug power, uh -huh. sorry, I'm having trouble with my words, drug paraphernalia, <laughs> that was harder than it should have been, to say snort coke and going to a rando's house and, you know, placing yourself in active danger and then happening to escape it somewhat unscathed, but not really. There's a little bit of a difference between the day-to-day -day dangers of life and what you're doing. You know, um... We're really disappointing uh, her here. That's the thing, she's so disappointed by this. And that's making thanks, her angry. Thanks, Red Sandic. Yes, I did clear it with Pete's. <laughs> that's a weird way um, to put that. Not that Pete's I mean, is going to do anything, the person is probably more exposed to COVID than I am. Like, I'm so sick of hearing that, honestly. I believe she's sick of hearing it. I do not believe the average person is more exposed than she is, not with her recent activities. Like, it's one person, and other than that one woman, and there was masks on the, on his kitchen table, so maybe they were, she was uh -huh. wearing them. Does she breathe through the kitchen table? Because either the mask is on her face or it's not. <sighs> what if he murders me? Okay, you guys are just yeah. being ridiculous right now. How is that ridiculous? Oh my God, what if he murders me? What if he murders you? That's ridiculous. That's a valid concern. There have been so many red flags in this entire topic. 
That's a valid concern that you don't seem willing to consider because you survived twice. It's not leading up but, to anything. I would actually say, as I'm saying that and ranting about it, I don't necessarily think murder is the concern here. I think the concern is very much her getting put in a situation sexually, in just a vulnerable situation that she cannot control. I think there's a much bigger chance of either completely non-consensual and just her getting raped, or her being pushed into a situation where she's doing things that she wouldn't otherwise have done that she'll end up regretting later. Like a teen girl with a crush embarrassing. Yep. Well, maybe you'd be more happy if you got laid in life too. I don't know what your problem is. I know what his problem is, or her problem is. Your, your entire current storyline is a problem. I know a couple who love each other. And they go to sex clubs. Exactly. Like, that's so close-minded to say that. The issue here is not open sex. There are many people in loving relationships who have that as part of their life. The issue is the current situation you find yourself in. This random guy you don't know very well who's offering you these things that you are clearly not comfortable with. And if this continued, I bet you money we get more stories of her being pushed into these sexual exploits that she'd be very proud of because she's not considering this from any other angle that would not be she'll be laughing it off and being like oh i, I never would have done this but i did this i'm just like yeah and and push 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 we go um i didn't fall for nicholas i you tried, tried to like him you yeah, tripped at the very least it, you tripped for him. <laughs> um, but I am, I am very mindful of the fact, like I was thinking about that in bed before I fell asleep. I was like... In his bed? This is how it started with BB. Like I started... So she's still considering it as a potential relationship. Pete, and then I would like, when I broke up with Pete, before I moved out, I would go and hang out with BB at his house. And What I actually took from that was she still lived with pete's after she'd broke immediately after she'd broken up with that sounds fucking awkward i mean i suppose they would have to live together they got nowhere else to go but oof, i'd i'd find a friend to stay with but those also seem in short supply with her if you're taking pete's out of that picture but um i i don't the fact that she's equating it with her relationship with bb it is a concern and what i did was I would bring over like stuff like my pillows, my own pillows and like TV stuff that would make it more comfortable for me. You know what I mean? She just Jamie, stealth like, moving. Your grown adult living your life seems there's a lot of jealousy around here. I love that you're and you're mm, open-minded. Clearly Thank this you. is jealousy. Clearly. Thank you. <laughs> it's not jealousy. I wouldn't want to weigh over 400 pounds. You know what, oh. Ella? I want... Before we get her outrage, I was watching this live and that comment had a lot more to it. It was, I wouldn't want to weigh 400 pounds with like health issues and be putting myself in this danger. The comment went into it a lot more. She read the first line because it's much easier to be outraged over a weight comment than it is to actually address any of the other issues within that comment. I just want to point that out before she, she gets outraged at us. I don't want to have your attitude. So I think there's worse things than being fat. And I'm not 400 pounds anymore, thank you. Like being raped and killed by a random um, internet stranger that you <laughs> agreed to be with. Anyways, I don't want to leave you guys. I like I miss hanging out with you guys. You, really? Because you I sound angry. To... You sound angry at all of us. Um, you miss us. Uh, you don't seem yeah. to. You miss all the ass pats, which you're not getting right now. He's very different with me. And I think that, like I like that. Like I don't because want you're to... special, clearly. It's not a manipulation technique at all. He's like, I, I don't know. He's like, I, don't, I never kiss girls, but I love kissing you. So I'm just like, oh, well, that's, a, that's, something, that's something really nice to hear. Apparently, I'm a really good kisser. Is he going to tell you otherwise? And we just kiss all night. Like, I don't know. Well, Veronica, you don't have to be here. Uh, you know, it's my channel. Why should I shut up? Why don't you just not watch? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know why you had to put stop signs for that i didn't scroll back up into the chat because it was moving really fast uh, so i don't know exactly what 
what she had written for this, but this this is sort of the start of, of her really losing her patience. I can hear everyone arriving, I'm gonna have to excuse myself for a minute. Okay everyone, sorry, as you can see we've had a little change of scene. My sister and her little one arrived and she had to put the baby to bed, so uh, I record on the landing of the guest floor, and so she's, she's staying up there, and I was just, uh, it wasn't okay for me to finish up there, but I do want to finish recording today so I can edit it and I can post this. And we're not a hundred miles off from where we need to be at this point. So I've got my laptop plugged in because the battery was dying. I'm stealing light from the ensuite because it's the only white light I've got and all my others are quite dim and yellow. And uh, we're going to get through this together, okay? <laughs> now, uh, she paused talking for a minute, she didn't say anything particularly important other than I'll, I might get ready on live, which like I said, I don't know if she does or doesn't. Um, but at this point her chat was saying things like, oh, she didn't even see Karate Joe's message. And she paused and she scanned back. And this was her response. Okay, Karate Joe had messaged her in the chat that she'd missed. And I'll see if I can find the message somewhere on Twitter to put on screen for you. But essentially saying, I'll give my love to your cats, which he, he just is so weird with every encounter. Uh, give my love to your cats but I can't support this anymore or something along those lines basically he can't be here and this was her response to that at this point the mods are also being like oh Joe oh Joe trying to calm the situation this is her okay Joe goodbye take care I don't give a fuck bye so don't let the door hit you anyways um People didn't respond to that well at all. Yeah, so I'm gonna go over there. She just keeps trying to go. And then people are like, hey. It. Maybe I'll get wine, like a nice bottle of wine. No, that's not how I treat my friends. That's how my friends treat me, apparently. Like, you know, what do you want me to say? He doesn't support what I'm doing. He's flipping out over everything I do. So fine, then just bye. <laughs> I mean, what do you want me to say? You know? This is, I can't remember if it's the other mods or if it's just general people in the chat trying to step in and be like, hey, this is Karate Joe you're talking to right here. And guys, talk about a ride or die. Like, yes, he's a weird, creepy, controlling dude. But this is how she treats him for his literal years of loyalty. Being like, hey, he's supposed to be a friend. And her only response is, well, it's how my friends are treating me. Yeah. Newsflash, friends, actual friends. I don't know how Karate Joe qualifies exactly because like I said, he's creepy and controlling. But if I saw my friend doing something that seemed massively damaging, I'd want to have a talk, whether that talk got ignored or not. And her response after years with him, after times where he's literally been one of the few supporting her, her response is, bye with a, a heavily implied asshole. Like, what? Do you see where you are right now? You've only seen this guy twice and you're already at the point where you're alienating the closest thing you have to friends? This doesn't bode well at all. And I'm sorry, I don't usually sit here calling Chantal names because frankly, she does enough to herself and shows enough ass herself, I don't need to. But what a bitch move. Karate Joe of all people? Really? You seem to be really into the controlling dude that you've got on the other end of the phone. But no, Karate Joe showing concern? Boot him. No, like, I, I'm not gonna not live my life just because people approve or don't approve of it. Like, it's not about approving, it's about concern, it's about caring. That's not gonna happen. Like, I'm allowed happiness, I'm allowed to, like, I'm allowed love. You deserve all of those things. Everyone deserves all of those things. But that's not what you're showing here. You're showing a dangerous lack of common sense in a very suspect situation. And anyone who had a single shred of care for you would say something in that situation. And, oh, I, I don't even like Karate Joe, but man, this rubbed me up the wrong way. Um, everything you know so whatever if you're gonna flip out and be like that then fine i mean i don't know what to say he didn't flip out he has flipped out in the past but he didn't flip out here he said 
hey, this is dangerous and I, c I can't support this. And anyone in their right mind, although that might be a stretch for Karate Joe, but I'm, when Karate Joe is your voice of reason, my God. People come and go in your life. I, I really don't. How fast she's I've cutting off that relationship. I've never ever just like, well, you're the, like so judgmental. Like it's never happened. Well, then you've never had a true friend because you can be a supportive friend. You can have a strong relationship and you can still call shit when you see it because a true friend will care enough for you that they will have difficult conversations with you when you're not willing to care enough for yourself. That is what true friends will do. No true friend is unconditionally supportive of any destructive behavior. If you've never had a friend who's been willing to take you to one side and be like, dude, you are hurting yourself, then you've never had a friend. But yes, thanks Marina. See how her voice changed? So, now she's trying to go back I to her usual sense. Quickly skim past it. She's flicking through now because people are responding. I'm not doing something bad, Jesse. Like, okay. So I'm just... You're doing something bad in every area of your life here, including what slender links you had to people who do give you ridiculously unconditional support. And you're cutting those before our eyes. I'm just going to, like, unmod people who are just, like... You turn on those Honestly, mods. like... Turn on them. Seriously. Um... Like, the threat of that... Now, she does have a ridiculous number of mods, and she has modded people too quickly in the past, which has caused her problems when they've been a bit troll. But she's got mods in her chat right now that have been with her long term. And she's just sitting there going, well, you disagree with me. I'm just going to unmod you if you start annoying me. What, what, showing concern over these ridiculous choices you're making? Yeah, no, turn on them. Turn them hard. Because when she comes crawling back, assuming she's still here to crawl back, this is going to be really hard to recover from with some of these people. We voice concerns, but don't judge. Yes, you voice um, concerns. I, I just feel like... Whatever. Anyway. Everyone's so against me. Yeah, because this is an idiotic thing to do. If everybody has a whole ton of concerns, does that mean you have to live your life by other people's standards? No. But when there's this many red flags and this many people are telling you, oh my God, what are you doing? It's maybe worth a second thought and not turning on the people who have held you up all these years and defended you. You're mods. The, the closest people you have to trust on the internet and you're, you're just turning on them. You're just throwing them away for this guy you've seen twice. Anyway, um... Not even for that, just for your own sense of grandeur. Your own sense of, oh no, I will I do what I, I want. Need... You're in a teenager. You're out Why of one half the time. I need a COVID time. test? I don't have, like, for what? I don't have symptoms. I don't think... Because that's the same as not having COVID. Oh, not the point of this section, but... Man, her understanding of COVID is dumb. Yeah, if you guys want to mass unsubscribe, go for it. Just because I'm like, I've met somebody go and I'm it. happy. Like, I don't know. You're not gonna... You've met somebody, you put yourself in a risky situation, and you're going to do it again. I, I wouldn't necessarily say that and happy is right. You, you are living a fantasy you've had for a while. You're living this wild lifestyle that, you know, you, you claimed you wanted, but happy? Go rewatch what she was saying in yesterday's live stream. Is happy the first word that comes to mind as she sits there in pain? It wasn't the first word that came to mind to me. I'm gonna ruin my happiness. Um, I'm sick of people nagging. And if you want to be unmodded, if you want to leave, go right the fuck ahead. Like I said, honestly. turn on him. I mean, Drag I, him. I, I don't kiss people's ass. I don't beg people to um stay uh you don't have to like what i'm doing i don't know why you're still here if you don't like it um i'll be really interested over the next week to see how her subscription levels go because she's down a thousand subs i said 500 in my last react she was actually around 900 she's been down more since and i'm willing to bet if it got low enough she'd do some begging she'd be really resistant to it but She'd panic a fair amount if her subscriptions really started to freefall. Like I said, like so many people have already unsubscribed. Go ahead. I'm not. Because right now a thousand is manageable. She doesn't care. Do things just because people don't approve of it. Like it's just not going to happen. Especially when I'm not doing anything wrong. Like. 
You're doing blow. Honey, you're doing blow. Give me a break. <laughs> you know. Um, thanks, Ashley. Switch straight back into <laughs> the mom. subscriber boys. So, I guess. Because I just woke up and I've been talking and haven't had water. Oh, sorry. Because I'm coked out. She's On that such note, a bitch I'm going to gonna go hang out with my cokehead boyfriend. Seriously. 3.45. We see that. And I'm going to have a good night, so. And I'm going to do it to spite you all, and that's going to make it more enjoyable. No matter what happens to me, know that I did what I wanted, and really that's what was important, no matter how stupid it was. That's it, that's all. Because society all doesn't right. get to judge me. I love you too, Annie, I know. How fucking fake was that? Annie P, poor Annie P. Or I, I say poor Annie P, she's been a bit stupid as well. In the sense of she's like, oh no, I was taken aback the first time. She's so terrified to say anything. Like she spoke out against it and then people went nuts. And I was like, hmm. Like she's very nervous of the ground she stands on. It does not, none of the relationship she has with her mod seems. Oh, oh. That's my niece who should be asleep. <laughs> Don't know if the camera picked that up. All right, so anyway, Annie P has been on thin ice. All the mods have been on thin ice, and it's it's like a bad relationship. It is a bad relationship where they're all so terrified to offend her because Chantal kicks off. She's the ultimate abusive girlfriend. Hi, Louise LaRue. <laughs> Thank you. And then, Nothing's ever happened. Ignore uh, it. We're just going to go past it. If my cat was near me, I'd be there. distracting with that. Go back to the voice. Why VAF? In real life, you accept your friends the way they are. Yeah. You don't just like, I'm sorry, but Joe's been like slut shaming, like doing all these things for so long. Like, just like, what the fuck? You're not my dad. Like, I understand your concern. You've been saying it every fucking day, every live for like, however long, you know, like, what the hell? Like, chill out. Yeah, chill out. Exactly. So, I'm sorry, but, like, I don't, I don't, if you're prude, you don't want to be in my channel, I guess, I don't know. Rose, yes, finally some of your crazy mods are hella controlling. Yeah, just, like, things, like, I don't like comments, like, you're trying to be Khloe Kardashian with the lipid filler, don't be like Trisha Paytas. What's wrong with Trisha Paytas, like, because she's sexually open? Like, does that intimidate you? I don't know, like, I, I, I don't get it. I'm actually going to leave it there, because, pfft. <laughs> what else is there to say she goes on for a little while at this point i was live tweeting and i was like she needs to stop the stream my god she needs to stop this stream but i really just wanted to hit the karate joe stuff because whether he comes back whether she arrives with us or soft voice if things really do go into free fall we will see but she is not treating her audience her mods herself well at this point and this attitude if what she's physically doing right now doesn't come back to haunt her, this attitude will. Because she is burning some... She is burning some bridges right now. Sorry, the juxtaposition between her just being like, nah, no sleep. And uh, me trying to deal with this serious situation doesn't really fit. I apologise. Um, okay, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go check out what havoc my three-year-old niece is uh, currently, currently delivering. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.